Hi, I am Arshan Partha and I would like to welcome you to Unraveling Science. Today, I am going to show you how to make your very own Cartesian Diver. For this science experiment, you are going to need a scissor, two or more paper clips, a straw, the bigger the diameter, the better, and a clear plastic bottle filled with water. It's just as simple as that. Now, the first thing we are going to do is make the weight for our Cartesian diver. To do this, we are going to take our two or more paper clips and slide them into each other so that they form a chain like this. Now, we are going to make the main body for our Cartesian diver. To do this, we are going to take our straw and a scissor and choose a point along which we are going to cut it. When you are sure of that point, take your scissor and just cut it right off. Now we are going to assemble our Cartesian diver. To do this, we are going to take our straw and fold it in half like this and then we are going to keep it aside. Now listen very carefully. A standard paper clip like this has this outer loop and this inner loop. What we are going to do is we are going to push each of them a little bit away from each other so that the outer loop goes into one end of the straw and the inner loop goes into the other. Then we are going to take our straw, press it down like this. Then we are going to make the outer loop go into the first part of the straw. Then we are going to make the inner loop go in the other and you should get something like this. Now we are going to test our Cartesian diver. To do this we are going to take the diver and slowly immerse it in the water like that. Then we are going to take the lid for the bottle and screw it on nice and tight. Then we have to take our hand and squeeze the bottle firmly. When you do that it sinks to the bottom like this and when you reduce the pressure it should start rising to the top. So that's how you know that your Cartesian diver works. If your Cartesian diver sinks when you immerse it, the problem might be with the amount of paper clips you have used. So just take the Cartesian diver out of the water, reduce the number of paper clips and put it back in again. Now if your Cartesian diver does not sink, even if you put a lot of pressure, the problem might be that the Cartesian diver is too light. So you might have to add one or more paper clips so that it has sufficient weight to descend to the bottom of the bottle. Now if your Cartesian diver used to work perfectly fine but now only sinks to the bottom of the bottle, you might have to take it apart open your straw like this and just squeeze it so it gets a more cylindrical shape just like that and then you can fold it back in half like this insert it into the paper clip unscrew the bottle put it in it and then it should work perfectly fine once again just like that Now in the straw there is compressed air and the paper clips form the main weight for our diver. Since air is less dense than water, the Cartesian diver floats when the bottle is not compressed. However, when the bottle is squeezed, the pressure increases inside the bottle. This added pressure decreases the volume of the gas in the bottle and the straw. This is Boyle's law. When the volume of gas inside the straw increases, the space left behind is filled with water from the bottle, which is more massive than air. As a result, the mass inside the straw has increased substantially, but the volume has remained the same. More mass in the same amount of volume yields a greater density. The density of the diver increases to the point where it is now greater than the density of the water surrounding it. 
That is why the Cartesian diver sinks when the bottle is squeezed. Now in the straw there is compressed air and the paper clips form the main weight for our diver. Since air is less dense than water, the Cartesian diver floats when the bottle is not compressed. However, when the bottle is squeezed, the pressure increases inside the bottle. This added pressure decreases the volume of the gas in the bottle and the straw. This is Boyle's law. When the volume of gas inside the straw increases, the space left behind is filled with water from the bottle which is more massive than air. As a result, the mass inside the straw has increased substantially but the volume has remained the same. More mass in the same amount of volume yields a greater density. The density of the diver increases to the point where it is now greater than the density of the water surrounding it. That is why the Cartesian diver sinks when the bottle is squeezed.